Hello everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 14. This time, we actually made our own scenario that I created and worked really hard on, and then I accidentally deleted, so I made it again. But this one's not as good as the other, but let's continue. Five young colonists were lucky enough to be picked to leave their dying homeworld. They packed everything they thought they needed. Clothing, weapons, food, silver, and more. They said goodbye to their loved ones and boarded the starship along with their pets. During their travels, they drank to excess before entering their crypto sleep. When they awoke, they found themselves far away from their promised destination and on an unknown realm world. Will they survive and make history, or will they be forgotten among the great expanse of stars? So let's continue and meet everybody. Okay. So, we have Lars. She is a female, good at shooting, social animals, and research. She was a coma child and a human computer. She is a 19-year-old. And an optimist and bloodlust. Then we have Chef, who was a mercenary recruit and a mercenary chef. He's very good at shooting, animals, cooking, and crafting. He's pessimist and iron-willed. Then we have Santiago, who is a cult child, a deep space miner. She is 20 years old. She's a green thumb and a Tito Taylor? Sure. She's artistic, mining, construction, melee. Then we have Matt, who is a medieval slave and a medieval farm oaf. He is 18 years old. He's very good at growing, melee, and mining. He is a brawler, ascetic, and neurotic. And then we have Adam, who is 20. He's an apocalypse survivor and a veterinarian. He is a pessimist and too smart. He's good at shooting, melee, and medicine. And then we have our animals. So we have Voodoo the Red Fox, cute. We have Sorcerer the Lab, we have Vix in the Lab, we have Rowdy the Husky, and Adrian the Little Kitty Cat. We are also playing on a climate cycle, which is a multi-year cycle for summer, so our summers will last multiple years, winter will too, etc, etc. And we landed in, I think, a boreal, maybe? Where do we live? Yeah, we are in a boreal forest. Or boreal, whatever you want to say it. I think it's boreal. So let's look around and see what we have. So around here would probably be a good place to build. What is this area? Marsh? Deep water, shallow water. They can't walk on that. That's fine. I think we're actually going to start in here. We have quite a bit of iron lying around, so let's get started. Let's zone some areas for our stockpile, like that. Then we'll make a dumping stockpile over here, and we'll start our growing zone. So, kind of in this game, we are trying to race against the clock, so we actually have enough food and medicine and all of that stuff before winter sets in, since winter may last multiple years. So I'm gonna assign quite a few growing areas, so potatoes are fine, and then we're gonna do rice. We're gonna get some heel root, and what else should we get? Mm. Let's see. Maybe some corn, okay. And we're gonna make this into a room, so I'm going to get a door right there, and then finish off the walls. Get some furniture going. So they're not gonna be very happy about living in the same room for now, but I think they can deal with it for a while. Right there, okay. And then we'll get some animal sleeping spots. Cool. Build a room, Hunter lacks weapon. Well, we'll get to that. So I guess we should pause up and unlock all of these goodies. 
So, since they knew that they were going on to a sister world that was not as advanced as their own, they brought lots of weapons and things that they thought they might need. Alright, and we have some Ibix over here. And I think that's everything for now. So let's start with Lars. Good at shooting, so I'll give her an assault rifle. Chef. Very good at shooting. I'll give him a charge rifle. Santiago. Not good at shooting. Good at melee. I'll give her a plasteel knife. Matt. Also a melee person. So here's your plasteel knife. And Adam. Ah, kind of not great at either, so we'll do that. Let's also get their work assignments going. So I'm going to make them all firefighting. And sorry I didn't record any episodes yesterday. I actually uh, went on a trip and we went uh, floating down a river on a bunch of inner tubes and I got very, very sunburned and like to the point that it hurts to walk. So that's kind of the reason I didn't record. I didn't want to uh, get out of bed because I was lazy. Okay. Mm You'll be our number two handler. You're the first handler. Cook. Hunting. He'll be our handler. Who else can help with the growing? Four versus a three. So that'll be a two. Two. And then I'll assign more of them to that. Plant cutting, one. Let's put you as a one. Smithing, we don't really need to worry about right now. Sure, you can be our artist. Crafting. Anybody else good at crafting? Not really. Okay. So those will all be twos. I'll make them ones. That way they don't have too many jobs. This guy seems to be very busy, so... Here you go. You guys can be cleaners and you'll be the research. Okay. So, we're getting all that set up. Alright, we're getting plants planted. It is summer. Your food won't grow in winter. Be sure to store several days worth of food. You can build a walk-in refrigerator, which I will do. Okay. So I think I'm gonna have like a little bit more of a village kind of setup. So everybody will have their own rooms and it'll kind of span around here. So I think I'll actually get started on that. We're gonna be making it out of wood and you cannot build on the swamp, good to know. So let's have a couple of six by six houses. It's just kind of, well, wait, one, two, three, four, whatever. Cancel that one. And I need to set my recording. So let me do that while they're all building. We'll do 30 minutes from now. It will be the end of the episode. And the nice thing about having your own scenarios is that it makes things a little bit easier if you're not as good at the game as, you know, you would like to be. Because <laughs> I know I'm not great at RimWorld, but I try my best. And then we'll have another house here. Oops. Just kind of a nice little village. Okay. 
I think that'll be good for now, and then we need to maybe get a a wall built around our storage with a wooden oop wooden door does not need to go there. Okay. That is gonna bother the shit out of me, so I'm gonna place it there. And my hip hurts a little bit, so sorry if I'm shuffling around. Okay, so this room is almost done. So I think this will eventually become our kitchen and this will become our uh, food storage room. And then we can eventually build in more towards this. And that can be like our uh, medical room. And since there's quite a few trees, I think I'm going to build most of my stuff out of wood, even though that can cause problems when uh, things get set on fire. Let's speed everything up a little bit. Also get them some joy so they don't get too angry. Cool. So this will be our hospital, this will be our dining room, this will be our kitchen. How are our animals doing? He is eight. I quite like voodoo. Voodoo's kind of cool. Very nice. Okay, so this room is finished. I'm gonna get a wooden floor on here. Speed up a little bit more. Is anybody else constructing? Or is it just him? That'll speed him up a little bit. Make more people work on things. definitely be an interesting uh, building. Oh, we have a herd of muffalo down here. That's nice. And they've all gone to bed. There's a turkey outside. Let us assign our animals to be trained, not slaughtered. So it looks like Voodoo is capable of hauling, but not rescue? Huh, interesting. Oh, it's too small. Okay, that makes sense. Excuse me as I shift in my chair. Oh, my sunburn really hurts my legs. Wee, I'm just flying everywhere here. Ow. <laughs> okay. Not having a good time right now. Okay. Whew. So we got a lot of uh, that going on. This is all good now. Let's slow it down a little bit more. Reinstall your bed over here. Reinstall your bed over here. So those will be the first people to uh, get a new bedroom. I'll also build a couple more. That's not right. Cancel! One, two, three. Sure. Why not? Okay. 
Okay. So, a couple of rooms. This one is a little bit... What is wrong with this room? Something doesn't seem right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it is seven. Seven by six? That's not right. I'm struggling. It's one back, seven this way, six this way. There we go. Now it's correct. Should also probably start getting some power going. Hmm. I guess this could be our power room. We'll do a couple of solar generators. Have our components not been picked up? They haven't. Okay. Everybody haul! Also, get some floors, because these rooms are quite hideous otherwise. Cool. But the nice thing about um, custom scenarios is you can kind of uh, customize them for your playability, so if you're not as great as you wish you would be, at this game, you have a bit more of a chance to cater to what you're not good at by kind of bending the game a little bit to make it better, <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to speed that up a little bit, because once these are built, we'll be able to... we'll need some batteries, so I'll build two batteries in there. Okay. Probably not the best room, but it's okay. I guess we kind of need more, um... Ooh, I might need to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me! Let's get our butcher table, out of wood, and then our um, electric stove. Since we now have a battery, we need to get a power conduit to go to them. And it's raining, how nice. So he's probably a little bit happier now that he has a bed. Very low expectations, slept in the cold, feeling bad. Is it cold outside? It's 50 degrees out, so not warm, but comfortable. So once this room is all built up, we'll be able to move one more bed. So I'll do that now, since by tonight it will be fixed. Okay, now we have some batteries. What the hell is happening? Oh, I guess the cat attacked. Huh. Okay. Lars is gonna patch up the kitty. Visitors! Cool. I will be able to re use that room for something. Adrian is fully healed. Good for the kitty. Okay, so, Bills, Butcher Creature, do forever. And then Bill's add Bill to cook fine meals will do until we have 
25 simple meals. Since we're now kind of running low on food, let's get that in there. And we'll also be able to get a cooler, which will be nice. As well as some lights. We could probably use torches, that would be nice. Not the best, but nice. Do our animals have masters at all? Chef seems- okay, Lars has a bond with Rowdy. Santiago has a bond with Vixen. Santiago has a bond with that one. Chef has a bond with Voodoo. Okay. Are our animals actually trained up? Okay, so they have been trained. So I'm going to set them to haul for now. That way, when they're being trained, they will, uh... What should our... What should our town be called? Um... Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm not good with names. Um, how about Spruce Hills? Sure. These are spruce trees. Nope, they're pine. Whatever. Oh, sorry, visitors. We'll also need to build, like, a little visitor cabin that'll make them happy. Okay. So, we need another room. We're kind of expanding off into this area, so let's get a little more over here. They are speedy. Let's also have them assigned to, um, orders, haul things out. Let's haul these. Oh, we have a mad animal. Go, kitty! Good job. And I think the cat is eating the, uh... Oh! We mostly hit our cat. That's not good. Poor kitty. Oh. Hopefully they'll be okay. Okay, so we have one more room. Let's reinstall this bed all the way over here. And then we can get a nice little eating area. Mm, table. We'll do a wooden table. This room is not even. That's annoying. Right there is fine. Have a couple of wooden dining chairs. That is a lot of wood needed for a... Uh, We'll put a light. Yeah. Very nice. So I think everybody is a little bit happier. Let's actually make this into a uh, guest. A nice little guest room. Not the best, but at least they'll have a place to sleep. And we'll get a wooden door for them. Okay. So they'll be a little bit on the outskirts, but I think they'll be okay. 
it's not the best beds. Okay, so I'm actually going to have people, since they're idle, I'm going to order them to uh, harvest these berries. Because there's quite a few berries around here. Cool. And I think we'll make another room. Hmm. Let's make it right here. And this can be another kind of storage room. Cool. We'll hurry that up. Yeah, we're definitely running low on some food, so I think I'll also start hunting some turkeys. And some of these. We have more steel over here. That's nice. There's a bunny. It's a dog. We don't want to kill the dog. Just kind of things nearby. What is that? Oh, it's a turkey. This boar. Okay. And then we will definitely stockpile zone for here. We also might need more wood. We might be running low on some wood, so I'll have them chop this wood down. Because it doesn't seem like they're building it. Yeah, definitely running low on wood. But since we have this stockpile, we are going to deny any food. Okay. And then in here, we will clear all and foods. And I think that includes raw food. Yes, it does. Okay. So that means they can wander our joints. A village named Kirill has arrived and is joining the colony. He's a military commissioner. Kirill has a husband with a relationship with the colonist. He is Lars's ex-husband. Okay, hi, Kirill. Um, before you hunt a ram with a knife, let's actually... So he's incapable of firefighting. Wait. He's a ten doctor? That's good. What's you? Nine. So you'll be ten. Okay, so we'll have two doctors flicking five versus a six versus a two. So he'll be our number two. Handler, we only need one. Hunting, you're a 5. He is a 7.5. Okay, and then... You're not much good at anything else. Okay. Mining, how's your mining? Mm, you're passionate about it, that's good. Plant cut, sure. Smithing, no one cares. Crafting, hauling, you'll be another cleaner. Okay. So hopefully that'll bring us some food, and we'll also get a uh, temperature, we'll get a cooler in here. He's cooking some meals with berries, maybe some berry cobbler, that would be nice. So we're gonna need another bedroom, which is fine. Krill. No, you're fine. Okay, everyone's fine. Let's have another bedroom be built. Right here. This will be Carol's room. And we need another torch. So our animals, do we have everybody with their bonds? Seems like it. Okay. So they kind of get happier when they are with their bonded animal. So I'm going to 
make... Mm, we don't really have a lot of furs. Well, once we get enough furs, we will uh, definitely... We need to have this to be preferred. That way they'll move stuff out of this into here. I'll speed it up a little bit. So this is our little uh, guest room. Not sure what Krill is doing. So let me see what a guest bed actually does. Place for guests to sleep during their stay. Well, you know. We'll also have a lamp in here. Since we have lots of wood around. Maybe get in the wood floor here. That would be nice. Don't shoot the cat this time, please. This is good. The grab. Great job, chef. Mm, let's see. We need another area for, uh... Kind of a- not an everything room, but let's have it down here. That will be like our little, uh, research construction room. That'll be nice. A chunk of spacecraft. This is good because when you deconstruct these, you can get components out of, and components are kind of hard to come by. So we're still low food technically, but I think we'll be okay. It would be great if people worked. Psychic drone. Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. Well, that's not good. But, you know, what can I do? Definitely don't want animal corpses in here. No animal corpses. Thank you. Those will go in this stockpile. That way it can be cooled. Wonderful. Lots of strawberries. And our plants seem to be doing pretty well. It's only the sixth day of summer. Come here, little piggy. Little piggy! Oh, we have a raid. They were prepare and then attack. So we have Kate coming in. We're ready for you, Kate. Hmm. Where is she? She's up here. Oop, not what I wanted. Okay, everybody, I need you to be drafted and come here. Chef, you are going to go here. Krill, you're going to stay behind. Matt, you'll stay behind. Lars, going to come here. Santiago, also going to stay behind. And Adam, I think you'll come here. Or right here. Okay. That way, when Kate decides to uh, assault us, she will come down and stabby stab, and we will stabby stab back. How is our animal training going? Cool. Did, did she already get shot? Oh. Well. Great job, everybody. So we'll strip her, take her shoddy club. Nice, nice. We have a little bit of light in here. It's not the most beautiful space, but you know. A 
actually we can make this into a uh, dead body room. Not enough stored. Okay, we'll do with silver. And this will become our room for uh, burning the dead slash not seeing them. Because your people don't really like to see dead people. Oddly enough. Storage, we want humanoid corpses and no chunks. Yes, okay. This will be preferred priority. And we will take humanoid corpses out of that one. Okay, so since we don't have a bed for Krill yet, we actually put him over there, which is fine with me. We seem to still need more wood, so I will have them cut down more. It'll be nice once this is built up because we will be able to uh, put our research and stuff in there. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I'm gonna check how long the episode has left. Mm, two minutes, okay. So, they're just kind of sleeping. How exciting. Okay. So how is Voodoo, our little fox, doing? She is partially trained. Okay. People are eating berries. I guess they prefer eating berries to cooked meals. Okay. Sure, sure, whatever. So this will be our stockpile for uh, regular stuff, and we're going to take this down to 30 degrees. I'm actually quite happy with how this is turning out so far. And we might be able to dig in here and build some stuff. Because we might wall off our colony eventually to encompass this kind of area. Not right now, but soon enough. And I am hesitant to build into mountains because last time I did there was a uh, bug infestation that did not turn out very well. And they're building a roof over that, how nice. Poor mood. Yes, yes. It's because of the psychic drone. He's a little bit... Hmm. Colonist needs treatment. Krill, what happened? Oh, I guess you're still hunting? Why are you hunting? You only have a knife. Don't hunt. No hunting for Krill. actually going to change the handling to a two because it seems like a chef likes to train animals more than he does uh, cook, which is not cool. And it still seems like we need more wood. Oh, not harvest plants. Chop wood. Chop all this wood. Lots and lots of wood. Psychic Drone is finally ending! Awesome. So that'll put Krill in a better mood. Is he even wearing clothes? Nope. No clothes. He's gonna get cold. Did... What's her face have clothes? Well, let me look for some clothes and then we can, uh... Where did... I swear she had clothes. Right, maybe someone took it. Anyway! gonna pause. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you have something to say, please leave a comment. If you want one of our colonists to be named after you, please leave the name that you want them to be named after in the comments. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye!